According to a 2019 study on the diversity of artists in major U.S. museums, African-American works of art make up only 1.2% in the U.S. Equity and ethnic diversity in American museums has always been increasingly low for people of color. Moving towards diversifying underrepresented artists, visionary Willie Williams Jr., founder of Studio 2500, creates a space to serve the community of Birmingham through visual art. Myself as an artist, I am um, a multidisciplinary artist, so I work in the mediums of sculpture, painting, and I do collage and assemblage. I started art, I started around the age of four. I was learning from my father, he taught me some of the basics of art, and then I transitioned my passion for art to go into the Alabama School of Fine Arts, uh, where I graduated in 2014 from the Visual Arts Department, and then I got my BFA from uh, Birmingham Southern College 2018. So now I'm practicing as a full-time artist along with owning my gallery. The mission of Studio 2500 is to promote diversity and primarily freedom of expression. Our slogan is the ultimate art and cultural experience. So that means that anyone from any walk of life can come into the space and gain connection to the art that is displayed. I had never felt or seen anything like Studio 2500. I never once felt intimidated or unwelcome. For the first time, I was able to connect with artwork that looked like me, that had hair textures thick as mine and skin as dark as mine. This made me truly feel that my voice and my story mattered in the gallery of Studio 2500. Where it is has opened the eyes of so many people who they come through the door and they say, I didn't know this place was here, and they want to come back. And that's the wonder of it. It's accessible. I got the opportunity to speak with the local artists at Studio 2500, and here's what they have to say about their artistry. I am very architectural as an artist. You can kind of see things building and breaking down and walls falling, colors popping. In other words, you can see the details, even though they may not necessarily make sense. The viewer can kind of capture it as when we go through these journeys in life. It doesn't always make sense, but I also enjoy the journey in general because it's so beautiful. Art can start conversations guide people to inclusivity and bring communities back together. So currently we are focusing on arts education so I have a summer art camp that I'm doing right now and so I'm teaching a youth how to um, do the basics of art and so that's a pillar that we brought out this year for the studio, the arts education component. Art is not something that can be created but it is a seed that can be planted like the Studio 2500 project, The Arc of Justice. My vision with The Arc of Justice is going to be globally expansive. The Arc of Justice will bring about conversation about the ideals of justice and more about humanity worldwide. It'll be able to push for better policy, push for more educational programs that youth can uh, take advantage of uh, to learn and grow up to be um, agents and advocates for justice and for humanity. No matter your background, art unifies and tells a story that brings hope to the future of an inclusive world where all groups of people are represented and equally loved. Black is beautiful, black is elegance, black is power, black is heaven sent. Black is victory, black is relevance. No matter how much they knock us down, we bleed excellence. This has been Tiffany Davis with APT.